On June 11, 2001, the Oklahoma City bomber Timothy McVeigh was walked into the death chamber where he would take his last breath. This facility houses death row for federal inmates. It also houses many other dangerous offenders due to its maximum security level. The facility? USP Terre Haute. What do you know about this prison and its many high-profile inmates? Let's take a look. Located in western Indiana, just south of Interstate 70, the facility gets its name from the nearby city founded by the French in 1818. Many residents know that the facility looms over the community with some of the most dangerous people on earth. It was built in 1940 with the construction authorized by President Roosevelt. The community was behind the project and even raised the money to purchase the land thinking it would bring jobs and help the local economy. They also thought it would house non-violent offenders. Seems they were misled. The current prison was built in 2005, replacing the original aging facility. The original facility is now FCI Terre Haute, a medium security facility. USP Terre Haute has six housing units and totals over 719,000 square feet. It houses over 1,200 inmates, although its rated capacity is closer to 1,100. It maintains a 4 to 1 staff ratio, equaling around 300 total staff. As noted earlier, Terre Haute houses death row, also known as a special confinement unit for the federal government. 44 men are awaiting execution, each with their own single cell. Since 1963, 16 people have been executed at the facility. The last execution at the facility took place on January 16, 2021. Dustin Higgs was convicted of his role in the murder of three women. Since that time, President Biden has placed a moratorium on federal executions. It is unknown if there will ever be another one at Terre Haute. Other inmates that you may recognize on death row at the facility include Dylan Roof. He was convicted of federal hate crimes in the murder of nine churchgoers. Another name you may remember is Jahar Zarnayev. He was sentenced to death in 2015 for his role in the Boston Marathon bombing. What typically happens when you put violent people with other violent people? It will breed more violence. This is the case at USP Terre Haute. In the span of two weeks in September 2021, there was two murders at the facility. One of the victims had just arrived at the prison. The other victim was a former BOP officer, Michael Rudkin. He was convicted of having an inappropriate relationship with an offender in his care. He was then convicted of trying to pay the inmate to arrange for his wife to be murdered. In June 2022, Lawrence Taylor was charged with murder for stabbing another inmate during an incident in 2019. These are just three examples of the violence at the facility, much of which goes unreported to the media. Hopefully now you know a bit more about one of the most violent facilities in the federal system. We'll have to see if any other facilities will measure up to this frightening place. If you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, and share. See you next time.